Performing accuracy assessment in Envy is actually a really simple task to do, but doing it properly can be really, really time consuming. What we're going to do here is, is show one example of a way that you can do it. And the, the idea here is not really to try and get it perfect, but to just understand what the process is and how, to, and how you go about doing it. What we're going to do is look at the classified image that we've already worked on, which is the Landsat image here on the right hand side. And I've got a worldview image which covers part of Darwin, so it's not over the entire area of the, of the Landsat image, it's just in the um, northeastern corner of it in the Darwin region. So we'll use, use the worldview image as much as we can. And then what we're also going to do is incorporate some pseudo accuracy assessment, which actually means using the same data set that we use to classify this image. So what I'll actually do is for the areas that are not contained within the worldview image, so for example burnt areas, we don't have any samples of that to, to test, we'll bring back the the original Landsat image and and use that as to create regions of interest to test for accuracy there. And this is called pseudo accuracy assessment because it means that we don't actually have an independent data set for what we're for what we're using as as reference. So we use most most of the worldview data as much as we can and then just bring in the Landsat data in addition. So the, the process is to either have fill data that you're going to use or if you don't have it we use this this reference image here. So we're going to create some regions of interest to represent each of those land cover types that we have in the original classified image. So if we have a look at the, at the classes that I have in this image, um, we've got water, mangroves, burnt area, bare ground, woody vegetation, urban sand, non woody vegetation. So the idea is to identify areas representing each of those different features in the worldview data. And what we'll do is create regions of interest to represent those. So if we go to overlay and region of interest, we'll bring up the region of interest tool. And we're just going to draw out polygons representing each of those. So for example, we'll start with water. And if we go into the, the scroll image here, we've got an area of water. Um, and I'm going to collect a region of interest there that's going to represent my water body. I change the name here, so just clicking on that and into water there, and just to keep it um, in line with the other image, I'll change the colour of that also to blue. Okay, so we'll collect a couple of those regions. And we'll get another one here. This is some more water, um, and some down in this area as well. Okay, so we'll use that to represent our our reference water body. Now the next class we've got on the list is mangroves. So the idea is to find some mangroves within the worldview image. And I'll get some down um, in Charles Darwin National Park here. Add a new region in my region of interest. Call it mangroves. And change that colour also. And just right click on that to change that there. Okay. And I'll draw a region of interest there. So can continue collecting regions of interest in this manner until you get ones that represent all of the classes here that you can. If you can't find burnt areas, for example, just leave that out at this stage. Remember to always save, save your regions of interest as you go as well. So just go under File and save ROIs and collect all these until you've got all of those covered.